You come to solve all your problems, and I'm gonna do that for you, and you stick around for the threat at the end. That's the rules. Let's just start off and go through as many of these as we can. It'll be a fun inbox episode. Maybe your questions will be answered. You guys can hit us up on Twitter, uh, Logan underscore RTW or Tech Syndicate. Either one of those works and we'll uh, start answering some questions. Top three favorite RPGs of all time. Okay, uh, Deus Ex considered an RPG because that's obviously the top. But let's pretend that those, you know, like games that are kind of in between like Thief and System Shock and all that stuff. Let's say they're not RPGs, okay? So it'll be uh, Morrowind and uh, maybe... Um, I really like Draken, but it's not living up to the the time with the times. It's not really good. Castles and Crusades is definitely up there on the list, but that's tabletop. God, this is a difficult one. Because there's so many variables. Do I get to count Skyrim with mods? Because that's... That's the only way I can... I mean, I love that, but that's... I can't handle it without mods. I can't even, like, stand it without mods. Um, and Fallout 2. Yep. Isometric Wonderment. All right, Owen says, uh, want to come visit? Just give me your address. Just put it on uh, Twitter. Just publicly, and I'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hiking and breweries, yep. Joker says, boxers or briefs? Joker. Joker. I don't wear underwear, Joker. You should know that. Remember? Why not sell out and make a Battle Royale game? Done. Sword Slinger Royale. That's it. 1v1, last man standing. Very tense. Short matches. And uh, we're giving out turkey dinners. Because, you know, once a year, turduckins. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite breakfast food? It's another thing. I want more specificity. I want more specificity. Do you mean like favorite breakfast or just individual food like egg that's it bacon that's it because if that's the case it's gonna be egg you can't have breakfast without eggs i drink a glass of mustard and eat oats because i'm healthy stone ground mustard runs runs you through get you started cleans your colon uh, favorite breakfast food breakfast tacos um and if i'm in a different mood i want full scottish sorry english people it's the full scottish what's the difference haggis i don't know do i like radiohead i'm too happy if, if someone puts them on and they're in the background, or if I'm in a coffee shop and it's like over there, I'll be like, I can drink coffee to this. Is that Radiohead? I don't know. That's what I always hear, because I never like, actually listen to them. I just hear them from over the side, and that's what they sound like. From over the side. Uh, Woodsy says, can you please recite what you said about a job paying them with your time? Why can't you just go watch the old video? Are you lazy? Fine, I'll do it. What I said about a job paying you with your time is that my philosophy when I go to work for someone else is that my most valuable asset in the entire universe is my time, not my money, because that is what we live with. We, we live with our time. So when you go get a job for someone else, you're getting that job because you have a need, and that need is money. You have to buy food. You have to buy whatever clothes unless you live in a nudist colony. Uh, you have to pay your rent, and so on and so on and so on. So you have a need. I have a mighty need! So you hire that company, right? You following me here? You hire that company to help give you money and you pay them with your time. So therefore, they work for you because you are paying them with your most valuable asset and that is your time. When you look at it that way, you're no longer on the bottom, you are on the top of the world. And I think that's a more that's a healthier way because a lot of people always feel like they're not worthy of having a job or they're not worthy of a better job or they're not worthy of an upgrade. But when you start looking at it as your time being the most important and money being the thing that they pay you with, it's a different mindset. Why can't I stop listening to your music? Because I've taped it to your head with an infinite battery. I don't know. Thanks, Nick Pierce. Lutherus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Says, what's your favorite Croatian metal band? Do I have a minute to Google Croatian metal bands? I'm sure there's a bunch of Croatian metal bands that I love that I didn't know were Cro Croatian. Melkor is from Croatia. God, there's so many good uh, bands here. Circle of Pestilence. <laughs> Don't go in that circle. Sorry, editing person. Oh man, okay, we need to make just a Croatian metal band name. Like hats off to some of these names. I'll get back to you. Top five albums of 2018. Maybe I should put this over on uh, Keep It Metal. You guys love metal, so um, I'll, I'll have to answer these later. Ever been to the UK for any tech-related events, and would you visit? I uh, love the UK. 
especially love going to Scotland because it's, it's it's in my blood, I guess. Um, but the last time we went to UK, uh, we went down to um, we were about an hour south of London for an, uh, an Nvidia event, and they didn't really uh, give us much time to get out, so we just were basically in and out, and it was two or three days. But I'd love to go back for that full Scottish breakfast. No, I, 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 the people over there are awesome, so I really would like to go back. I just, if I go there, I won't, you know, won't want to come back. What's your li YouTube link? Because I unsubbed you for being way cooler than me like a year ago, Carl. You're the coolest man. You shouldn't have had to unsub for that. I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm not giving you our thing. No. He's he's cool enough. He can find it. I know he can. Out of P. Okay, uh, Adrian says, how about a PDX area meetup? PDX land would be nice. PDX land is no longer going to be in Portland. They're moving up to Vancouver. Um, they may be tearing down the location for the PDX land. And maybe we'll do a meetup or a land party. But we'll have to see if the audience really wants that. Let us know in the comments if you're anywhere near Portland, if you want to do a land party. We'll do a small one like, you know, 20, 30 people. I like those better. They're more fun. So what are you wearing, says Kevin. <clears throat> Palladium boots, man. And nothing else. <sighs> Destiny Page says, if we ever meet, could I have a hug? What kind of hug? Hmm? You say no? I don't like touching people, but I've been trying to get better at that. Are we talking like one of those hugs where you like do this number or just like a, cause like this, I'm like, all right, yeah, we, I can do that. But if it's going to be some of this, give me a little of this. What if it's like a bro with two pads? Like, oh. great to meet you, hug, pat, pat, done. I get how I like bear hugs better than bro hugs. Bro hugs always feel like, sup, bro? I don't, I don't know. You can have a certain kind of hug. Alex says, is it a good idea to buy used mining GPUs? For the most part, I think used mining GPUs, as long as they weren't uh, running 100% and in a warm environment, might be okay. I'd rather buy them from somebody I know than somebody I don't know, but... Um, those things are designed to run for long periods of time, and a lot of them, they if they run them at like 80 or 90 percent, they should be okay. Should be. Captain Bringdown says, "Would you like? Uh, would you do something like Highlander ever again, or is the tech tuber space not what it used to be? Uh, what, what it was at the time? Uh, what would be your next crazy idea for a journey-based documentary? Yeah, I'd love to do another Highlander. Um, I know Linus doesn't want to do it again, but I'm, I, Luke was like all over the idea of going up another mountain. Linus was like, he's had his fill. He's gonna stick with badminton, so that's fine. Um, a lot of the other tech YouTubers um, would probably do it. Justin not gonna do it. <laughs> you don't like, Justin hates outdoors. I'll do it, I don't care. I, I would love to do a, a documentary about global gaming culture where we go to a bunch of different countries in Bourdain style and check out the culture and then see what sort of gaming that they're into, you know, in their country. Some are into only tabletop, uh, not really a lot of PC gaming. Uh, some are more console markets like the USA, but there's also a huge PC market. And some are like PC only, kind of like China and stuff. Uh, really just PC and Android, PC, Android, iPhone only. So it would be interesting to go to these different places, hang out and play some games with them. And also some places where they just don't have... The, the most powerful computers and don't have a lot of access to the newest games. It'd be cool to bring a few computers with us and set them up and be like, makeshift LAN party and watch people go like, what? Uh, what are your thoughts? So this is Al says, what are your thoughts on the rumored 1180 GPU? I don't have any thoughts on these things until they come out. Yeah, like, well, just put one in my hands and then I can test it. Then I'll have some thoughts on it. Randy says, what's my outlook on crypto for the remaining remainder of the year? All time highs, more of a bear market. Uh, favorite project, I like Nano uh, a lot. And I think it's a steal at around two to two to three dollars right now. It's ridiculous that that could be a coin that goes up over a hundred. I'm not sure about by the end of the year, but we could be seeing an all-time high then. I think we're going to rebound, and uh, I mean, like, this is multiple trillion dollar market. It's gonna it's gonna keep going up and up and up. So I think by December we'll be um, up. January, February next year, back down. Would I rather have a deep dish pizza, but the cheese is made from rat's milk? Or a Wagyu beef burger, but the buns are made from cockroach flour, says Speedy Muffins. Whew. A deep dish pizza with rat's milk. See that both of those things, the milk and the cheese, that's a big part of the pizza. But the bun is a big part of the burger. Cockroach flour. I can't imagine that being anything but mealy, but I can imagine rat's milk having a pungent flavor 
but still being cheese. I would go with deep dish pizza with rat's milk cheese. Did I win anything? Azikaton says, can you say children of Burzum? No, cannot. Leviathan says, M&Ms or Skittles? Neither for me, but I love pouring them both in the same bowl and putting them on a table at a party and watching. God, that gets me all lathered up. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? All right, last question is from Tipo64. How do you deal with internet jerks who seem to only exist to make your life a living hell? It's really easy to kind of ignore the guys that have nothing better to do with their time if you yourself have something to do with your time. So I feel myself, uh, you know, fill my days with a lot of projects and ideas. And I just always have something going on. And then it's like, okay, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of losers who have nothing better to do than throw rocks and, and spread lies. It's like, okay, good, great. I, I'm glad that they have a pastime. I have a lot of other interesting shit that I'd like to do. Subscribe, or else tomorrow when you wake up, you will be completely encapsulated in a one layer of aluminum foil on the outside. And on the inside, I'm gonna cover you in saran wrap so tight that you'll be like plastic King Tut. And that's how you're gonna wake up. And then there'll be some surprises otherwise, but that that's, that, that's you don't want that, do you? So you're gonna subscribe. See you guys in the comments. Grab a mouse, grab a t-shirt, uh, get your hair cut, and uh, say hi to your uh, uh, um, grandmother, uh, mom. For, uh, for, uh, yes, bye.